Hey there, everybody. This is Daniel, the adjuster, and we're here to tell you how you can make $15,000 a month as an adjuster. <laughs> you're like, you're crazy, man. There's no way you can make that much money. Well, let me tell you, you can make 15,000 and more as an adjuster. So let's do the math and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's say you're doing an average claim, nothing special, just normal. You're looking at about $300 that you're gonna be billing to the firm. But you still have to remember, we're only making 60% of that total bill. So the billable amount is $180. So let's take $180, multiply it by 20 claims a week, and you're looking at about $3,600 a week. Now, 20 claims is a lot, guys, and I want you to understand that. That typical uh, claim volume can be two to three a day. Uh, in a busy times, you might get five. So it's not always something where you can say, I'm gonna get three claims a day times five is 15. I'm gonna get four claims a day times five is the 20. If you work six days a week, you can get 24. So it just really depends on how many claims you get per week, but you multiply it by the average. So let's say, let's hypothetically say, we're gonna get 20 claims a week, $3,600. Now multiply that number by four, and that'll give you what you make per month. If it's consistent, you're getting 20 claims a week consistently, you're looking at $14,400 per month. So I told you, you said it couldn't make 15,000, that's almost right at 15,000. And that's saying that you never have a good claim where you make more, that you're always making the lowest amount on the claim scale, about $180 per claim. That's not the case. You get a roof claim, you're automatically gonna be bumped up into the next tier schedule, even though maybe the second one up from that, and you could be looking at a lot more. If you multiply that 14,400 by 12, you're looking at $172,800 per year before taxes and expenses. That's a great income. I don't want you guys to, to balk at that. Expenses are a little bit high, You've got to pay for only all your gas, your travel, any of the expenses for paper and office supplies. You know, when you're an independent, you pay for everything. And then you remember, you got to take taxes out of that as well. So what I like to do is I like to use an encouraging factor of saying, hey, what if I was to go on a catastrophe? That is where the real money is. Now, catastrophes don't happen all the time, but let's do the math on that and figure out what it would be like if we were on a CAT event. CAT event happens, they deploy you to uh, the, the location and normally they give you, could be 20, 30, even 50 claims depending on how busy the event is. I have received 50 claims and then also received another 50 claims when I got that done. Typically, you're gonna be running five claims a day. And these, you gotta remember, these are big claims. These are lots of damage. The roof is being bought on every one of them. You're gonna have siding and windows and fascia metal. You're gonna have potentially windows uh, broken. You're gonna have personal belongings. You're gonna have fences, all the paraphernalia sitting around the house, like the barbecue and the lawn chairs. I mean, it just really adds up and you start getting to these very large claims. So I'm typically going to see a billable invoice between $1,000 and $1,500 that I send to the firm. And I make 60% of that. So roughly that's between $600 and $900 per claim. So let's use the math, pop in 750, which is right in the middle of that and do the math to see what we would make. Remember, you're doing five claims a day, 30 claims a week for two weeks because you're trying to get these claims done as fast as possible. And that's actually 60 claims, but you were given 50 at the start. So you're looking at about two weeks that you could pop out those 50 claims. So let's do the math. 60% of of that one, you know, $1,000 to $1,500 we mentioned is between $600 and $900 per claim, which is average about $750 right in the middle. 
So you take 750, you multiply it by your, uh, your 50 claims, and you're looking at $37,500 in two weeks. <laughs> Before expenses, obviously, and taxes. But still, killer money in two weeks time. Now, I've been on catastrophes, if I do a really great job, and I finished up those first 50 claims in the first two weeks, they go ahead and drop me another 20, another 40, another 60, just depends on how busy it is. They go, hey, you knocked out 50 in two weeks, hey, let's give you another 50. And I actually had that happen on a hail claim. We knocked out 100 claims in one month. So you double that up, you're looking at about 60 grand uh, that you just came home with in the first month. <laughs> it's just killer. Now. I don't want to make it all sound rosy and good because you've got a high expenses. You've got travel, you've got hotel bills, you've got all your food, you've got taxes and whatever other expenses you have while you're there. But that, it just really doesn't take out a huge hunk out of that money that you're making. So the money potential is amazing. Now, if you could go from a catastrophe event to another catastrophe event to another one, which I did <laughs> back when Hurricane Henry and Matthew, and I think it was Matthew and Irma, there was three of them, one right after another. And I literally went from Rockport, Texas, up to Houston, Texas, over to Florida, and it was one right after another, and we were gone for about three months. It was insane, but the amount of money was totally amazing. This doesn't happen all the time. For you who are starting as a new adjuster and you're wondering, how do I get started? You start small. When I started, I was only doing a couple claims a week and it was just hard. And so the best advice I have for you is to get onto multiple firms, get out there, get your name out there. And so even if one firm is only giving you two or three a week, another firm's giving you two or three a week, another firm's giving you two or three a week, it will start to add up. And then eventually, and this is years down the road, you will be able to select the firms that you like the best and kind of weed out the ones that are not paying as much. And you'll start to see your income go up because you're getting paid more for the claims that you're handling. But I want you to understand, before you will make that kind of money, you've got to be proficient in what you're doing. Your estimates have to be top notch. And I mentioned to you, I've got these macros, guys. The macros are awesome. I use them every day. I still rely on them because I can write estimates very quickly because everything is in the line items and all I gotta do is edit a few small details and I'm writing estimates super quick. Macros, you can't do this job without macros. And I'm offering these macros super cheap so those who are new and wanna get out there and wanna learn the process of writing estimates can do it really quick. I learned from a guy who had macros too. I just saw the basics of how he wrote estimates and then I started making my own macros. So everyone has to use macros because they save time. So get yours here, follow my videos, and learn how to be the best adjuster out there because I'm here to make you money. Let's go, let's get rich together. <laughs> Daniel the Adjuster, talking to you live as an adjuster in the day of life. It's good job, guys, and you can make $15,000 a month if you apply yourself. Take care, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.